Hey everyone and welcome back to another PGR video. I'm gonna be doing the usual. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be going over his how his kit kind of works. Also be going over some team comps for him, memory sets to run for support, and also a DPS version of Chrome. I slightly go over his weapon too. And lastly, one of my favorite parts about these guys is we're gonna check out the skins that he will be getting in the game and uh, the future ones that are released right now. So Aaron Chrome is gonna be uh, an armored framed unit in the game. A 30 physical and a 70% lightning damage output onto his uh his character without with his kit. Since uh Chrome is a tank frame, one of the most important things that you do want to check on these characters is their QTE ability. See how much red you're able to get from the ability. So with Chrome, his QTE you're able to deal a good portion of lightning damage, uh 250% of lightning damage, also able to reduce their lightning resistance by 10%. And that is really good, obviously, for your main damage dealing uh, lightning unit that you do have on the team. Also for Chrome himself, he has a shield ability into his core passive that is activated after a three ping onto a blue orb. The last decent, uh, decently long, not 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 crazy, only four seconds, but it does do an AoE burst after it does expire. Well, he's gonna be reducing the, the enemy's elemental resistance to lightning and also you're going to be able to survive hits and maybe be a little more ballsy when you have the shield up. And if you are able to acquire higher dupes of chrome, then uh, it is really nice to actually run him as a main DPS because at double S he does get lightning damage increases when he has the shield active. And at triple S, when you do swap uh, when you do swap him in from using your other main DPS character, he will have his ultimate active and his ultimate is really, really, really good. Because you can see over here, he charges himself with basically lightning for eight seconds and deal basically a big burst of damage in that time window that he has his alt up. You can see on his alt ability, it, it does trigger his core passive after five attacks. And if you do have a signature weapon, you're able to reduce that down to three normal attacks. And uh, that's really actually nice. Because again, if you do have um, double S, you get increased lightning damage when he has a shield up. So you're able to apply a shield when you have the alt up way faster if you have the signature weapon. And if you're able to obviously acquire triple S plus, he does also uh, reduce their lightning resistance by 15% when they do take a lightning strike from his ultimate. So Chrome as a, a damage dealer is pretty crazy. Now, after talking to that, let's jump right into the team comps. Since Chrome is a lightning tank frame, you're obviously considering running him with Bianca, which is the strongest lightning attack dealer in the game right now. You're gonna wanna run him with her also with Lux Live because she will also be increasing everyone's elemental damage if you do have her double s when she has her ion uh ring ar around uh on the field so that right there will be probably a really solid team combination you're going to want to run it's full lightning everyone synergizes really well with together especially with the memory sets you do put on them for some people chrome will be replaced in the future with uh espera if they want to go down that route and acquire her and use her as the as the tank on the team and if you really want to as well you can pretty much ditch bianca if you want to just run chrome straight up as your dps put the lux live there or if you have the other live you don't really have lux live on with a healing set that also increases your elemental attack when you do have the heal applied onto the character out on the field then let's say you run a karina on the side uh, that draw in a lot of enemies and you have her on the elemental set that reduces their elemental resistance when they're hit by let's say her qte you can run that route and you'll pretty much be shredding a lot i would say and uh, i think i would be trying it out Definitely, if I do end up getting him to double S. Again, I don't know if I'll be pulling for any dupes of him right away. If I do, then I might try it out. So yeah, that is, uh, again, really good. Two really good combinations you can do for team comps. If you're going to run him as a support character, you know, he's mostly going to be coming out, reducing their elemental resistance with their with his QTE and also applying his shield. Or you can just outright just have him just doing all the DPS. Quickly going over the memory sets that I do recommend running on him. If you're going to be going down the support route, obviously you're probably going to run a uh, four piece DaVinci on him because you're going to be banking off his QTE a lot. And then once you apply his QTE, you're able to apply your other characters uh, QTE out on the back line. So I do recommend running the four piece uh, DaVinci because then you can have a full, you can have like a full healer set onto your, your Lux Live. And for the two piece, I also do recommend is the Einsteiner set. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. I do recommend running that set as well because it is a QTE set that does bank off his uh his qte ability too because when qte is triggered he's also reducing seeing the enemy he's hitting his elemental resistance by 15 percent so i do recommend uh going down that route 
if you're going to be having him as a uh, pure support onto the team. And if you're going to be running in full DPS, which I know a lot of people are wanting to do as a DPS character along with uh, with another DPS, let's say Bianca, then I would recommend uh, actually running the four piece Heisen because again, that is going to be increasing his lightning damage output. But I still recommend to keep on a two piece Einstein set because if you're if you got to swap out to your actual main lightning DPS, let's say uh, Bianca or Dawn, then for sure, obviously keep um, keep the Einstein set on because then when you're popping his QTE, you're you're reducing the elemental resistance a lot more from the enemies that you are attacking out on the field. So those are really going to be the memory sets I do recommend. Uh, again, really quick, I'm not going gonna, I'm, I'm to try to take too long out on these uh, on the memory sets. And if we jump to his weapon real quick, I did talk about this weapon quick in my Nano Ouroboros video. Um, the, the skill one on the on the six star weapon is going to have a 10% more lightning damage increase. Also, when he is in his, his ultimate, the trigger his core passive in his ultimate, oh, it takes two less normal attacks. So instead of five, it takes three to activate the shield. And if you have, again, double S, the shield will also give him a lightning damage increase while he does have it active. Having the shield be able to pop onto him faster during his ult, meaning he's able to do more damage the longer his ult is out with the shield being there as well. All right, now for one of my favorite parts of these videos is actually checking out the skins. Um, the, His generic skin is actually really sick, in my opinion. <laughs> I like his uh his long coat and uh the light blue with the, the white. Uh, the aesthetics looks actually really cool. Again, that is sick. Um, this cyber crazy death punk looking thing, it's cool. It's not really up my alley, so I wouldn't really get it. But if other people did get it, I'd be like, wow, you, you do look pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. It's just, it's a little too much for me personally. And um, then you have this elegant kind of suave looking set outfit that he will have, which I do like it a little more than the, the crazy punk one. But I still think his generic set looks just looks the best on him because it just seems um, really how the aesthetics of the game is. And uh, I like it. I like it a lot, actually. So yeah, everyone, that is pretty much it. That is the end of the video. Uh, that's everything I had to pretty much go over. Again, if you are actually trying to run him as a, as a main DPS or a strong sub DPS, I would recommend trying to get at least double s onto the character so if you do have some extra pulls laying around why not throw it and get like an extra um and get a couple dupes of them and uh get them to there and yeah and always if you guys did enjoy the video and you found it helpful leaving a like or subscribe it would be greatly appreciated and uh, i would be very thankful for that as well as always thank you and i'll see you all in the next punishing gray video peace